Often maths can seem like memorizing lots of different numbers and names but in this video I'm going to talk about the names we have for angles and why they have the names that they have. Let's first look at a sharp angle. That would be an angle between 0 and 90 degrees. The name for that angle is it's an acute angle. So any angle between 0 and 90 degrees is called an acute angle. But why is it called an acute angle? Well, the modern word acute actually means sharp. So you might say, oh, I have acute pain in my belly. It means like a sharp pain. And this angle, if you look at it, looks quite sharp. If you imagine that as like an arrow or the tip of a spearhead, it would be quite a sharp weapon. So that's why that narrow angle is called an acute angle between 0 and 90 degrees. What about a wide angle that wouldn't be good use as a weapon? That angle is actually called an obtuse angle. And that's any angle between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. Between 90 and 180 degrees. But again, the question is, why is that called obtuse? And the modern word for uh, obtuse actually means um, someone who's annoying and sticks to things and isn't particularly sharp, is maybe a bit dull. And just like the angle isn't particularly sharp, it's a bit dull, it's quite wider, it's a lot wider than an acute angle. That's partly the reason why we call it an obtuse angle it's a lot wider than the sharp acute angle. So any angle between 90 degrees and 180 degrees is called obtuse. What about an angle that's exactly 90 degrees? I'm talking about 0 to 90 and 90 to 180 but what about one that would be exactly 90 degrees? Let's line it up and draw it across. What's that called? Well, you could almost say, and I'm struggling to draw one that's exactly 90, you could almost say that eventually I'd get this angle just right. And hence, its name, which would be a right angle. So an angle that's exactly 90 degrees is called a right angle. It's one that's just right, where one line is exactly opposite and perpendicular this is just a fancy word for going in a directly opposite direction. An angle that's exactly 90 degrees is called a right angle. OK, let's do one more. How about an angle all the way around the outside? So not inside at all. For example, if I drew an angle like so, what's the angle there? Well, you might be thinking, oh, that's an acute because it's a sharp angle. And you're right, the inside angle would be acute. But what about the angle going all the way around the outside? That is actually called a reflex angle. Any angle, almost like a muscle, the muscle reflex. You know how the muscle works? If you imagine that's an arm pushing it round like that. So a reflex angle, in this case, is any angle between 180 and 360 degrees. So basically it's the ones that go around the outside. Finally, why does it go up to 360 degrees? Why is there 360 degrees in a circle? Or the angles around a single point are 360 degrees. But why? Well it kind of links to the picture that you can see. That is a picture of the Sun and the Earth in an orbit around the Sun. And what has that got to do with angles? Well, how many days does, does it take for the Earth to go around the Sun once in an orbit? It's 365 and a quarter and a bit. Well, the ancient Babylonians and Chinese looked at that and when they were thinking of a circle, the best guess we have what they did is they said what we're going to call is each angle 
would be like one day. So if roughly there's 360 days in a year, give or take, then what we're going to say is that there should be 360 degrees in a circle.